A tradition of dining at Binion's Horseshoe. Great service, great food, great prices. Like our $2 steak and our $2 breakfast, the best in Las Vegas. Or Italian cuisine with pizzazz at Benito's. And Binion's famous steaks, of course. Then for that special evening, elegant cuisine and a spectacular view, the Sky Room. The special dining tradition of Binion's Horseshoe, where value, service, and good taste are served with every meal. Well, I didn't much care for the music. No, it was much too loud. And I didn't much care for all yelling either. No. You can't stop me, she can't stop me, nobody can stop me! You're too young to remember Lumen Avenue, young fella. Now, they were funny. Yeah. May I suggest next time you only put it in halfway? But no. The only kind of rocking we do is in a chair. <laughs> That's for sure. Comp 92.3. It's not for everybody. Put your body in action with hot sports fashion. Las Vegas Sports Center has the lowest prices in town. Fitness fashion with a street attitude for less. Get the look that gets the looks. Only at Las Vegas Sports Center. Hot sports fashion. Michelle's Village Cafe in the Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall. It's a mild-mannered, deliciously superb restaurant with a complete 24-hour menu. But at night, Michelle's Village Cafe also becomes the Village Buffet. An incredible adventure in dining and decision-making. And it won't take a big bite out of your budget. Michelle's Village Cafe and the Village Buffet in the Frontier. Where Las Vegas plays. the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, college basketball's most glamorous pregame show. Fireworks, light show, laser beam, pretty girls. A lot of opposing coaches will take their team back into the tunnel and not want make them watch this, but Todd Smith's going to let the Utah State Aggies take it all in tonight. Todd Smith's seen a lot in this arena. He'll probably just let them stay out here. That's one of the greatest shows in college basketball. Gotta be. They tell us now that we've got a sellout here tonight, so we might have close to 19,000. Rebels are being introduced, but first of all, let's give you the Utah State lineup. And the Aggies have made some late changes. They're going to go with a three-guard offense tonight. At forward will be Jeff Perez, a 6'8 senior from La Mirada, California, who dislocated his kneecap not too many months ago and has battled back. At center is Eric Branson, a 6'7 freshman from American Fork, Utah. And Utah State's going to go with three guards tonight. Jay Goodman, 5'11 sophomore, Fort Dodge, Iowa, leading the Big West Conference and, among other things, steals. Kendall Youngblood at one guard, 6'4 junior from Ogden. And Alan Gordon. Surprise starter tonight, six-foot senior from Chicago. Denny, why would uh, the Aggies go with three guards? Well, this must have been a last-minute change. I was at the shoot-around at Utah State today, and they were uh, inserting Byron Ruffrey. And now this, this will alleviate some of the pressure uh, that the UNLV defense will put on the Utah State team. All right, for the Rebels, Larry Johnson at one forward, 6'7", senior from Dallas. Stacey Ogwin at the other, 6'8", senior from Pasadena, California. George Ackles will be in the middle, 6'9", senior from Pittsburgh. The starting guards tonight, Greg Anthony, 6'2", senior from Las Vegas. And Travis Weiss, first start, 6'5", junior, Simi Valley, California. Filling in for the injured Anderson Hunt. He has tendonitis in his left knee. Greg Anthony's not 100% physically sound either. He's got a lower back problem. Shoulder hurts. Achilles hurts. Anthony's out there, though. He's always out there. I was in the locker room before the game. He was getting ice down and getting some heat. And he was just really in a lot of pain. While the Rebels are without one of their players tonight, Anderson Hunt, they have gained another. 
Melvin Love, the 6'9 and a half, 250 pound junior college transfer, has finally been made eligible. And Tart said he'll try to play him some tonight. He doesn't know how much. But what a great problem to have. Elmore Spencer backing up George Eggles and Melvin Love backing up uh, Elmore. UNLV's Lady Rebels won their 12th game of the season without a loss earlier tonight. The sixth ranked ball club coached by Jim Bola. Clobber San Jose State 84 55. Five the Lady Rebels in double figures tonight. Merlin Lang led the way with 19 points, and UNLV at 53% in that game. The referees tonight Al Hackney, Richie Ballesteros, and Dave Libby. Thank you for joining us. Radio and television on a simulcast. Hackles steps in against Paris. Ballesteros puts the ball in the air, and the tip goes to UNLV to Greg Anthony. Rebels will go left to right across your dial. If you're with us on K Don and the Rebel Radio Network tonight, Anthony, who averages 10 assists a game, to Johnson to Bites, down low to Ogwin. Stacy only had five points in the game here two nights ago. He loses the ball in the lane, and Utah State comes up with it. Bringing the ball up quickly is Alan Gordon. Accelerates, he loses it. Here's Ackles giving the ball to Anthony. Stacy Ackman away from the ball. We got a whistle and a foul is going to be called. Al Hackney has detected Eric Franson with a hold it underneath the hoop. Utah State is sagging man to man. Utah State comes in with a five and seven record and two and one in the Big West after a 93 to 91 loss at Fullerton two nights ago. Ackman with the ball outside. No score. 35 seconds into the game. Down low to Johnson. Try to go back to Ackman. Deflected, but the Rebels keep it as Anthony goes over and saves it. Back into Larry Johnson. Johnson all the way to the hoop. Comes it up. Around no good. Ball is the ball by Ackman. That could be a real mismatch down there, especially with three guards starting for Utah State. That'll give the advantage to the Rebels on the boards. Stacy Ogwin had 34 points here last year against Utah State, 26 in the first half. So the Rebels get the first deuce. Back come the Yankees, the ball outside. Now pass into Princeton on the pressure. Shot. Larry Johnson with the defensive rebound to Anthony. Long pass to Bice. Travis behind the line can't shoot a three-pointer. Got it knocked away, but it's saved by Larry Johnson. To Stacy Ogman in the right wing area. Left-handed dribble behind the back pass. Dribble to Ackles in close for a five-footer. Good. Stacy did a nice job getting that ball right to George. Ackles coming off of a 16-point showing here against San Jose State. Equaling his career high. Said earlier in the year against Alabama Birmingham. With the ball driving right baseline. Preston, he misses, but he drew a foul. They really like Eric Franson. He had 15 the other night against Fullerton. Stacey Ogman collects the foul. Rebels last year had no trouble here with Utah State. They had a 66 point first half, led by 29 on their mission and by as many as 47 in the second half, and ran off and won at 124 to 90. But the rematch, that was something else. And Logan, the Rebels barely held on to win. 84 to 82. And remember that night, Denny? Utah State had the ball, and Tark said he thought Youngblood was going to make about a 55 footer at the buzzer to win the game. I know. They had a chance to win the game uh, the last 14 seconds of that game. Branson hits a couple of free throws to shave the Rebel lead to 4 to 2. Outside with it is Stacy Ogden. Goodbye. Down low to Larry Johnson. In the lane, hangs for a 7 footer. He's made 63% of his field goal attempts this year. Ogwin's made 68%. Not bad for a forward combination. Well, it's going to be a real tough long evening for France and that matchup continues. 6-2 to two Rebels. Two minutes into the ball game. With the ball outside, Kendall Youngblood underneath. Good pass and laying it in. And Alan Gordon. Real good basket cut right there. 6-4 to four in favor of the running Rebels. Anthony, right-handed dribble into four court. Picked up by Gordon. Out to Pice. To Ackles. Ackles left alone to Ogman. Stacy backing out with the dribble. Lob it down to Ackles. Back to Stacy. In the lane to Johnson. Tipped away nicely by Franson. Here comes Utah State. Around the game, and they blow the layup, but the follow is good by Franson. After Youngblood went in and missed a wide open trip shot. 6 good, 6. Good heads up play by Franson. Defensively, Utah State's really sagging in, giving up the outside shot to Stacy Ogman. So we're tied. Bice gives the ball to Ogman, cutting to the lane, step shot, no good. He drew a foul. Jeff Paris may be the guilty party. No, they're going to get Franson for a second. It's a real nice curl cut right here by Stacy Ogman. Good down pick by Larry Johnson. Jay Goodman hadn't had the ball in his hands yet for uh, 
Utah State. But he will. Give him time. Stacey Ogman, a 72% free throw shooter this season, puts the Rebel ahead 7 to 6. A strange game for Stacey the night, Denny, in that Ogman just didn't seem to have many shots that he wanted to take and finish with the five points. It was really unique. Uh, Ogman also made the second charity. So the Rebels by two. Anthony putting a little pressure on Gordon. There's a youngster from Chicago. Dribbles left handed into four court. Takes it all the way to the lane. Feeds underneath. It goes to Paris. Outside. Here's the first shot of the night by Goodman. Which Utah State ahead nine to eight with a three pointer. He can really stroke the ball. Ooh. He's averaging 19 points a game. He had 33 against BYU. Pass to Johnson and over the back foul called on Jeff Paris. Not a very smart foul. Larry did a real nice job positioning himself. Strange thing about Utah State this year, they're one and five on the road, and yet they're shooting 46% on the road, 42% at home. The free throw line, 78% on the road, 67% at home. That just goes against the norm. The rest of jump shot by Ogman, no good. Ackles underneath, follow good. 10 to 9, Rebels. Here's the ball deflected by Anthony, goes to Ackles. And a foul at midcourt will be called on Paris. Trying to get it back. Good heads up play by George Ackles to see the ball. Didn't turn his head on the basketball. Here you see Greg making a nice defensive play, and George coming up for the stop. All right, the Rebels will play it in from midcourt. Leading 10-9. to 16-20 to go first half. On a simulcast, radio and television. Anthony to Ackles. They sag off of him. Out the vice. He'll shoot a three-pointer. Oh. Offensive rebound. Johnson put it up. No good. Tip no good. Larry's got it back. Double team put it up. Short. What? what you call power right there. Uh -oh. Three attempts. Larry, the big smile on his face. He thought he got fouled, but no call. 12-9 Rebels. Here's Gordon passing over to the right corner. Comes to Youngblood. In close, he fouled and goes up to shoot. Pretty good move by Youngblood. Both Youngblood and uh, Alan Gordon getting some great penetration right now. Youngblood and Con Smith words is Utah State's best player. He's improved his ball handling. He showed pretty good move there. Well, he really did. Went through three between two Rebel defenders there and drew the foul. George Ackles with his first foul, second team foul on UNLV. Young Bulls, an 80% free throw shooter. They've got some excellent foul shooters on this club. Away from home. Yeah, Goodman, 81%. Young Blood, 80%. Rich Jardine, who hadn't come in yet, 82%. Ryan Ruffner, who normally starts, 80%. And the second free throw, also good. Timeout, 15.52 to go, first half. UNLV 12, Utah State 11. We'll be back in a minute. If you like the old Iron Horse, voted number one by locals for the best breakfast specials as well as exceptional values for lunch and dinner, then you're going to love the all-new Iron Horse Cafe. Same great specials, a totally new restaurant, and an expanded menu that goes all the way to China. Featuring authentic Chinese cuisine served from lunch to late night, the 24-hour Iron Horse Cafe. Thinking about a new car or truck, but don't think you can afford it? At Gordon Ford and Import Center, we slash prices so everybody can afford to drive a new Ford in 91. We have special dealer incentives, rebates up to $1,500, and interest rates as low as 7.9%. Get the 91 Ford Ranger starting at $169 per month for only 24 months, rugged yet fun to drive. And the 91 Ford Taurus with airbag and analog brakes for only $299 per month for 24 months. You can afford to buy new at Gordon Ford and Import Center, 2121 East Sahara. 
Well, you know, they didn't have a very good opening 10 minutes here the other night against San Jose State, leading 17 to 16. And tonight, the first four minutes and 10 seconds, they've got a 12 to 11 lead over Utah State. All of the Rebels have made five of their first nine shots. Ackles back to Greg Anthony, right hand dribble, left of the lane, stripped of the basketball. Comes loose, picked out of there by a newcomer in the game for Utah State, Roger Daly. At the other end of the layup is, Daly gets it back, puts it up, and banks it in nicely. And Utah State's got its second lead of the evening. The other was at nine to eight. Another good second effort by Daly. Anthony outside to Ogman. Device playing for the injured Anderson Hunt. Left alone, puts up a three-pointer. He got it. That's where Jake Griffin's going to have to respect Travis and stand still shooting. He's a great three-point shooter. That's his 20th three-point basket of the year. He's 44% on three-pointers. Only 42% overall. 15-13, UNLV, five minutes into the game. Daly outside. Ogman knocking away from blood, but Kendall got it back. Over to Goodman against Bice, and we got player control foul. Con Smith comes off the Aggie bench. He can't believe the call. Bias Sterrell's made it. Right here you see the pass over to Jake Goodman. Little ball fake. Uh, pushed off with the elbow. Nice call. Five team fouls on Utah State. The Rebels have only two. Aggies have made four of their first six shots tonight. So 15-13, UNLV, Larry Johnson's got it out of high, picked up by Daly, puts a move on Roger, goes all the way, now passes back, coming to the lane, missed the shot, it is ricocheted over in the corner, Johnson and Goodman go after it, who touched it last, Goodman. That was a real good interior pass by Larry Johnson right there, George trying to get too cute on the layup. UNLV, the only university in the nation with both the men's and women's basketball teams in the top ten. Lady Rebels 12-0, running Rebels 9-0. Here's a pass down low to Larry Johnson. Turn around, jump shot, no good. Ball slapped off the glass to Utah State. Knock loose to Johnson. Gives it back underneath, trying to hit Ogman. And it goes to Daly instead. Pretty hands by Stacy right there. Luck to knock that ball loose. Rebels by two. Less than 14 and a half minutes to go. First half. With the ball, cutting through the lane. Goes Gordon. It comes over to Young Blood. Anthony is on him. Johnson trying to front. Paris outside. It comes to Daly. Ackles out on him. Pass down low to Paris. Left baseline. Left baseline. He's got the rebound. Good defense by Ogman and Johnson caused the bad shot. Here's Ogman with the ball, working to the right of the lane. Backing out with the dribble. Gives it up to Johnson. He'll put up a pass underneath. Ackles, beautiful shot. Foul call. George missed the dunk. It looked as if Larry was going to try a three-pointer. Just before he took the shot, he saw Ackles alone and fed him, and George got foul going up. Well, it's great court awareness by Larry Johnson right there. Had the Utah State team frozen. How's Larry doing on three-pointers, you ask? Well, not bad. Four for ten this season. I think George Ackles has become a better offensive player. He really has. Really worked hard off for his Richard here. He did a good job. Spent a lot of time in the gym. Ackles' his free throws good for his fifth point. He leads the Rebels in the story. That makes it 16-13, to 13, UNLV. Remember, no team has yet played UNLV. Closer than 20 points this season. The Rebels are favored tonight. Even without Hunt, 30 points. Ackles also swishes the second one. So the Rebels come back for five in a row after falling behind, and it's 17 to 13. Elmore Spencer in. George Ackles out for the Rebels. Both teams playing hard early, right? They are. Getting after each other. Elmore Spencer, seven foot junior out of Atlanta, used to play at the University of Georgia on his Connors, Oklahoma team, to a national JC title last year. With the ball outside daily to the cutter, Goodman in the air. The tip no good. Harris has the lead over to Spencer and bank it in underneath. Another opportunity for Utah State off the missed uh, field goal. Rebels hurry it back. Anthony to Bice. Back to Greg. Right wing area. Three-pointer in the way. Short. No good. No foul. Looks like Gordon got a piece of that one. Yes, he did. Goodman brings the ball up. His pass down to Gordon around Anthony. Off balance. Shot blocked by Spencer. Loose ball. Ogman clears it for UNLV. Ahead to Anthony. Three on two. Fast break. Anthony to Bice. Left alone. Three-pointer. Ogman offensive rebound. Comes back on a ricochet to Johnson. Knocked out front to Utah State. Coming back with the basketball. Youngblood to Gordon. Back to Youngblood. From the Rebel bench. Pulls up. Fake foul. Elmore Spencer. Boy, good hands down the other end by Jay Goodman. Knocked that ball loose. Boy, nice 
real nice ball fake to draw the foul. NBA move by Youngblood there to get the two free throws. Youngblood has scored in double figures in each of his last 24 games for Utah State. Only a 43% field goal shooter, but 80% at the foul line. He's got a chance to tie the ball game. It's good. He was a great high school football player. I think he was recruited by every school in the country. 6'4", junior, Ogden, Utah. Averaging almost 17 points a game at 22 against BYU. The second free throw goes in, and the game is tied again, this time at 17. Now, Randy Funk comes on for the Aggies, 6'7", senior from Hiram, Utah. He's only played not very much the last four games. I with the ball. Ogman down low to Johnson. Back to Stacy. Left alone for a three-point. Two long. In and out. Knocked over in the corner. Grabbed by Utah State. And the Aggies have a chance to take the lead with 12.40 to go in the first half in Las Vegas. Ross Porter and Denny Hovannik with you tonight on our simulcast. Radio and television. Good the ball away. Missed the layup. Rebound. Spencer gets it out to Ogman. Stacy coming up the far side. Drives it against Gordon. Releases him. Gordon Fowler. And a real strong rebound by Elmore to get that break started. Goodman accelerated, went around Bice, but missed the layup going in. Here we see Stacy, Kendall Youngblood, or I'm sorry, Gordon knew he was left-handed, tried to cut him off baseline. Jake Goodman left Iowa State after no scholarship was extended after his freshman year. And he's had some tremendous shooting games this year for Utah State. Ogden to the foul line for two. Stacy misses the first one. It's incredible about Goodman, Ross. He leads the Big West in steals. Right. But nine three-pointers against BYU, seven three-pointers against Santa Barbara, six three-pointers against Florida. Ogman sinks the second free throw. He's got five points, and the Rebels back ahead, 18 to 17. 12, 20 to go, first half. And sold out, Thomas and Max Center. Good move to the right baseline around Spencer and kicked the ball out of bounds. Got a good first step. Just a quick one. Anthony to Bice. Down to Larry Johnson. Round his man. This is excellent concentration by Larry Johnson right here. Looked off balance. Well, he really did. It's a great power move here. Larry will be double and triple team down there all night. There you see him going over two players and getting the, getting the deuce. Foul was called on Roger Daly. That's 18 fouls on Utah State. Remember when he got the 10, the other team shoots two free throws the rest of the half. Larry Johnson's made 18 of his last 19 free throws. He sinks this one to complete a three-point play, gives him seven points tonight. And the Rebels lead it by four at the 12.05 mark in the first half. You can see Con Smith's thinking right now, just basically rotating his inside people. He hasn't touched his three-guard offense yet. All right, Everett Gray on for the Rebels, and Travis Bice sits down. With the ball, Gordon down to Youngblood. Got the baseline, no good. Leaping rebound by the man from Bloomington, Bloomington, California, Everett Gray. Here comes Larry Johnson back, goes all the way in. Collision to the baseline. A foul will be called on Utah State. I think it's on Jay Goodman. But Con Smith really wanted to charge on this play. Instead, it's Goodman's second foul. Goodman protesting the call now by Richie Ballesteros. But well, Rebels really got down quick that time. Had some good numbers right there. Jay Goodman with the foul before the charge. Larry Johnson has upped his free throw percentage this season to 75%. Didn't do well at all in the first three games this year. Hesitates, puts it up, and that circled out to the right. It's really an awkward free throw that he does throw up there. Rich Jardine comes on to the floor for Utah State. 6'8", senior from St. George, Utah. Last three games, he's only played nine minutes, two minutes, and six minutes. Yet he had 28 points in one game this season against BYU. Hesitates to get a lane violation, then sinks the free throw. They'll give him the point. Time out. 11.48 to go in the first half. UNLV, 22, Utah State, 17. We'll be back in a minute. The tradition of dining at Binion's Horseshoe. Great service, great food, great prices. Like our $2 steak and our $2 breakfast, the best in Las Vegas. Or Italian cuisine with pizzazz at Benito's. And Binion's famous steaks, of course. Then for that special evening, elegant cuisine and a spectacular view, the Sky Room, the special dining tradition of Binion's Horseshoe, where value, service, and good taste are served with every meal. 
Superior Tire and Auto Service Centers want you to be satisfied with your auto repair. That's why we have Goodyear trained ASE certified technicians working on your car with state-of-the-art equipment and technology. This week, you can get a lube, oil, and filter for just 88. This includes up to five quarts of race-proven Quaker State oil. Visit one of the nine Superior Tire and Auto Service Centers. Your locally owned Goodyear dealer for 47 years. Johnson's last free throw, which he netted, has been nullified because of a lane violation on the Rebels, on Elmore Spencer. So it's 21-17 UNLV, and Utah State bringing the ball up. The Rebels have hit seven of their first 16 shots. Utah State's made five of 14. Daly with the ball outside. Spencer out to get him. 35 feet from the basket. Over goes to Youngblood. Picked up by Emery Gray. Left-handed dribble. Cuts to the lane. Hangs for a 12-footer. The shot's in there. Basket will count. And a foul call at UNLV. Greg Anthony raises his hand. Real quick move by Youngblood going across the lane. Here you see Youngblood go right into the lane, pulls up for a nice little jump stop shot, and Greg gets him on the arm. Good call by the official. First foul on Greg Anthony, fourth team foul on UNLV. And Youngblood, who's four for four at the foul line, uses the glass to bounce this one in. He's had seven points in the first half, and again, the Rebel lead is only one. 21-20. 11-25 to go first half. It comes out to Gray, over to Ogman, left wing area, out to Johnson. Pass into the lane to Spencer. Real good interior pass by Larry Johnson to get Elmore Spencer his deuce. 23-20 UNLV. Spencer, since joining the ball club four games ago, has averaged over 10 points tonight for UNLV. Pass outside to Jardine. Ogman almost knocked it away. Jardine gets it back. Gives it to Gordon. We're on a simulcast. Radio and television. Out of the sold-out Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. Jardine. Had Ogman knocked the ball away, but it goes to Daly on the ricochet. Daly guarded closely by Spencer. Five seconds down on. Loose ball on the floor. Saved by Funk. He goes over to Jardine and Jardine had it knocked away, comes back on a ricochet of Jardine. However, the ball was out of bounds, and it'll go to UNLV. Pretty good defense for the Rebels over there in the corner. Boy, great defense, and you can see how disarray Utah State was with the two-guard offense that time. Jay Goodman sitting on the bench, absolutely just out of their rhythm. We've had four lead changes, two ties in the game, 6-6. Six, six. We were even also at 17 all. Utah State's leads have been 9-8 and 13-12. Right now, the Rebels up. 23-20, and there was a foul in the last play. The 10th team foul with a half on Utah State. They call the second of the night on Alan Gordon. So Stacy Ogden will go to the line for two. He sinks the first one. So Stacy with six points early, 24-20. The second one on the way, and that two is good. Bringing the ball up, no pressure for the Rebels, is Alan Gordon. Gordon They're not afraid to drive left and go baseline. No, what they're doing. They worked it well. Yeah, right there. Tell you what they're doing right here, Ross. They're setting some good ball screens. They see the ball screen for Gordon and turn the corner right there. Ever Gray a little too slow getting there. On the scoreboard, 10th ranked St. John's lost tonight to Seton Hall, 74 62. Seton Hall was favored at home by three and a half points. Checking the free throw is Alan Gordon. North Carolina presented Coach Dean Smith with his 700th all-time win tonight, 105-73 over Maryland. Dean's sixth all-time. Second free throw missed. It comes to Anthony, and the Rebels have the ball, leading 25-21. Pass down low, Larry Johnson, baseline, and then underneath the screen, and score. Larry Johnson made some exceptional passes tonight. Boy, it was double team down there, and great vision by Larry to get it to uh, Elmore. Rebels with a six-point lead. Now turnover comes back to Anthony all the way. Dunk. Another great steal by Stacey Ogman. So UNLV has outscored Utah State eight to one after it was 21-20. Goodman, who's been on the bench, going to get back in there and listen to the fans. Very good point, Russ. Gordon 
And it knocked away by Anthony. Greg goes down, back to Johnson, back to Anthony. Cutting through the lane, hangs for a seven-footer around no good. Larry's got it. Two, three men on him. He goes up and got foul going up. Boy, is he having a night on the board. I to give Utah State a lot of credit. A great defensive transition right there. All five five of the players were back there for and defensive Dave transition. And not going to call a foul. He's going to get the ball out of bounds instead to UNLV. 9.39 to go in the half. Rebels 29, Utah State 21. Every Gray outside to Stacy Ogman. To repeat, Anderson Hunt not playing tonight. Kennedy is left knee. Here's Spencer. Entry pass. Johnson put up a three. Missed the layup. Hit no good. Larry stays with the ball. Knocked out of bounds by Utah State. Larry missed four easy shots in the first half. The other night was very frustrated. And then came back and made 17 points in the second half. And finished with 27. Elmore Spencer's probably saying, what do I have to do to you for to get an assist here? Larry? Uh, bad pass on the entry by Anthony trying to hit Spencer. Coming back, Utah State. Oh, Youngblood scores and he's fouled. He almost lost control of the ball going in. Fans want to travel in. Ballesteros said no, it's all legal. 29-23 Rebels. Here you see the re replay. Youngblood ahead of Stacey Ogman. Ever great. Tries to come in for the charge. Grabs him on the arm. Nice concentration by Youngblood to knock that one down. All right. Larry Johnson will get his first rest of the night. George Ackles back on the floor. Joining Spencer, Ogman, Gray, and Anthony. And to the free throw line, Kendall Youngblood. Misses the free throw. Ackles grabs the rebound. Rebels by six. Anthony up to Ogman at four court. Down low to Spencer. Five foot bank in there. What position he has. Well, it's just an impossible mismatch for Randy Funk down there. And a good read by the Rebels to get it punch it in. Six points for Spencer. 31-23. Running Rebels. Jardine behind the back pass. Youngblood. Four good. Youngblood having a strong first half for the Aggies. He's got 12 points. 31 26 Rebels. Ogman to Spencer. Over to Gray for a three pointer. Well, that's real nice ball movement by UNLV. Four different players touched the basketball that time. Good early offense. A couple of three pointers for the Rebels tonight by Bison now Gray. 34 26 in favor of America's number one ranked college basketball team, UNLV. Goodman driving right zone area and he got tripped and fouled. Rebels have held Goodman to one three-point basket tonight. And Travis Bice is the guy who started on him. There you see another ball screen on Greg. Little trip right there by Greg. Anthony's second foul, 15 foul on UNLV. In a battle of top 25 teams tonight, 14th ranked Duke annihilated 24th ranked Georgia Tech. Duke was favored by six and a half and won by 41 points, 98-57. Boots. Goodman sinks the free throw for his fourth point. We told you it was 81% on the year. That makes it 34 27 run the Rebels. Goodman missed the next one. The ball comes out and Stacy Ivan claims in front of the Rebel bench. 8.26 to go in the first half. Anthony up five on four to Ogman. Turns down three pointer. Lob down low to Spencer in the left baseline area. Back to Stacy. Right handed dribble. Cuts to the lane. Hangs for a 13 pointer on the rim around and in there. That yeah, ball hit every part of the rim. Teeter, teeter, and drop, and it did. 36-27 at the other end, missing the layup. Utah State. However, getting the rebound, Gary Patterson had missed the shot, and now a two-pointer for Kendall Youngblood from the left baseline. Well, he really wow. is good, uh, having a good first half. The other end, a tough throw for Stacey Ogburn. Boy, the Rebels got down there quick. Stacey's doing a great job of running his lane. Ogburn has 11 points, and we got a timeout called by Utah State. 7.43 to go, first half, standing ovation at the Thomas and Mack, UNLV by nine, back in a minute. There has never been a show like it. Peter Jackson's spectacular King Arthur's Tournament. For tickets for 597 dollars You won't believe your eyes. Gary Martin, President, Nevada Copy Systems. You know, we have several hundred sharp copiers in Nevada offices doing 40, 50, 60,000 copies a month on our high-speed sharp copier duplicators. If your company is still using Xerox, IBM, or Kodak copiers, give us just one chance to simplify and lower the copying costs in your office. 
see the new high-speed, high-volume sharp copiers. Call Nevada Copy Systems, the authority in office technology. Nevada's copier company. Over a million tires will be destroyed on the road today. Only one brand will be replaced free of charge. Big O Tires. Because Big O brand passenger tires come with a full warranty for free replacement, including road hazards. Buy your next set of tires at Big O. Otherwise, they may end up as useless junk. Big O Tires. Home of the full warranty for free replacement. Buddy, I'm Ross Porter with former Rebel assistant coach Denny Ovanik. And I remember last year, Denny, Con Smith making the statement that Stacey Ogman plays better the whole game because of the way the game begins for him. And Stacey's had a big first half tonight with 11 points. Well, he really gets it going not only on the offensive end, but the defensive end. Really sets his players up with a lot of steals right there. Surprisingly, that's only the second fast break bucket for UNLV tonight. 38-29 UNLV as we come back to play. 7.40 to go in the first half. Jake Goodman has been held to one field goal. Gives it outside to Patterson, to Paris. Over to Goodman, left alone. Three-pointer on the way. He's got it. He's a good player. He's a true shooter, no doubt about it. He's got seven points tonight. 38-32 Rebels. Pass down low to Ackles. Ackles turns in for a nine-foot jumper around. No good. Tipped up. Grab by Utah State. And cradling the ball against his chest is Paris. Paris needs help and gives it over to Youngblood. He'll bring it up. Travis Bice back on the floor for UNLV. Joining Greg Anthony at guard. Larry Johnson's out there with George Ackles and Stacey Ogman. Here's Goodman. Dribbling into the right baseline around Larry Johnson. He may have fouled him. Goodman also stumbled, but Johnson will pick up his first foul of the evening. On the scoreboard of the Big West Conference, UC Irvine leading Fresno State 54-44. Pacific ahead of Santa Barbara 34-31. And Florida leading San Jose State 19-14. Travel arranged for U.S. Air, offering convenient daily non-stops between Las Vegas and Southern California. U.S. Air, America's most frequent flyer. Jay Goodman makes the first free throw for Utah State. That knifes the Rebel lead to five at 38-33. Rebels have led by as many as nine points in the first half, and Goodman also connects on the second free throw. So Utah State hanging around. CH in the game for the first time. Utah Walton, State's playing hard. Ogman, Vice, out to Ackles, to Woolman, freshman out of Clark High in Las Vegas, to Vice, Patterson's on Travis, pass, bad pass by Vice, stolen by Patterson, he gives the young blood, and the top head goes. Utah State within two points. Boy, Jerry's really upset with that pass right there. 38-36, 7 nothing run for the Aggies. Here's a pass down the lane to Ackles for a one and a dunk. I think he'd be pretty happy with that one. And a foul. So the foul is Rod Roger Daly's second of the game for Utah State, and George Ackles will go to the line. Ackles had a big first half here a couple of nights ago against San Jose State with 11 points. And he has eight tonight. Rebels had a rough time getting started there. Engines were a little cold there for a while in San Jose. All right, Ackles. 50% free throw shooter of the year. Puts it up. In and out. And a ball knocked out of bounds by Larry Johnson of the Rebels. Two other members of the top 20 have won tonight. 11th ranked Kentucky beat Mississippi State 89 to 70. And 18th rated Nebraska, an easy winner over Missouri, Kansas City, 97 78. 40 36 Rebels. Here's Ackman. And a pass to Ogman to H. Wolman. 12 to go and a half. Down low to Ackles. Knocked away. Stolen by Utah State. Here's Goodman behind the back dribble. Coming up against Mice. Take it all away. A foul on Travis. He didn't make the shot. First foul on Mice. Down the other end. Good defensive play by Stacey Ogman on the weak side help. Nine team fouls on UNLV. So one more and they give up two free throws every time. You see the little hesitation dribble by Goodman. Drew the foul right there on Travis and George is waiting for it. So Jay Goodman, who has nine points tonight, puts the free throw up and misses. A rare miss for him. He's out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. His father, Tom Goodman, used to play at Iowa State. He went to Iowa State, did Jay. And Johnny Orr let him get away without playing very much. Goodman makes the second free throw, so he's in double figures. Rebels by three, 40 to 37. 
H. Wallman over in the left wing area, drives across the lane, leaves it out for Bice. We're on a simulcast. Near steal. Ogman's got the ball for too long, and the ball will go out of bounds. And shielding the ball very nicely over there was Alan Gordon to make sure Ogman wouldn't get it back. Yeah, smart basketball play by Alan Gordon. 40 to 37 Rebels. You know, be favored by 30 and leading by three. Why? Utah State's playing hard and doing a pretty good job on the offensive event, too, spreading the Rebels out. Right behind the back, Rebels turn around, jump shot, good. It's a one point ball game. Aggies have to be building their confidence right now. Pass down low. Here's Ackles feeding it out to Bice. He gives to Wolman. H dribbling left handed in front of the Aggie bench to Ackles. Knocked the way. Luke Wall George got it back. Takes it to the lane. Laid up four. And he's fouled. You can see how strong UNLV is athletically underneath. You know, Consumist devised a pretty good game plan right here. Basically sagging in the middle and gambling that the Rebels won't hit their outside shot. Roger Daly just picked up his third foul for the Aggies. So George looks for his 11th point of the first half. He missed it. Ogman knocked the ball to Johnson who gives it back to Stacy. Stacy, the Rebels leading by three, cuts to the lane, hangs for a seven-footer, barrels are iron, ball knocked over by Johnson and grabbed by Ogman in the right corner. Rebels nice. keep it. A little nice play to George. Down to Larry, around Patterson, back it in. Give George Ogman a lot of credit. Another offensive possession for UNLV, kept that ball alive. Rebels by five with five minutes to go in the first half in Las Vegas. Near steal by Ogman, Patterson pulls up for a three-pointer and buries it. Stacy gambled in passing like that right, there, right there, went for the steal. 44-42, UNLV and Utah State not giving an inch tonight in Las Vegas. Johnson tried to hit Ogman, barely got it to Stacy. Double teaming action, Ogman cross courts to Anthony. Collision, and Gordon draws the foul in front of the Utah State bench and then goes over and hugs Greg Anthony. As if to say, I'm not trying to show you up. We're a really good athletic play by Greg Anthony to handle I got, that ball. I've got three fouls now on Alan Gordon. That'll really hurt uh, Utah State if he does have three. And that is officially verified. Gordon has to go out. Daly goes out. Rebels make a change. Vice leaves the ball game. Every Gray back in. And going to the free throw line will be Greg Anthony. Anthony, 86% free throw shooter this year. 12 out of 14. And I Jake Stevie missed it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Back spasm. It'll be all right this one. New Mexico State and Long Beach State not playing tonight at the West Conference. The second Anthony free throw is good. There you go, Ross. Thank you. 45-42 Rebels. Pass comes up in the offensive court to Kendall Youngblood. Youngblood and Goodman have had big first halves offensively for Utah State. Utah State's lost 7 of 12 games. Patterson outside to Paris. Over to Goodman, left alone. Three. Good. You can't leave him alone. No, you can't. He faked like he's going back door, and Greg took it. We got a tie ball game, folks, with a little over four minutes to go in the first half, and the fans are a bit nervous tonight at the Thomas and Mack Center. Every Greg for UNLV. Out to Greg Anthony. 45-45. Ogman with it. Back to Anthony. Left alone for a three-pointer. He got it. He is really shooting well on the perimeter. He's only 36% on three-pointers this year. That's his 11th of the season. 48-45, Rebels back on top, pass down low. Harris had a block by Gray and lost out of bounds by UNLV. Gray protesting to Dave Levy. He thought there should be a jump ball call. But even if there had been, it had been Utah State's possession. Timeout, 341 to go into half. UNLV, 48, Utah State, 45. We'll be back in a moment. Rock and roll is the devil's chamber music, and these, well, these animals are his orchestra. Time to get hot and sticky, sweet with the stones, brown sugar. 
they're corrupting our moral fiber and advocating the overthrow of our government. Dan Quayle's wife said to him, you know, you're no Jack Kennedy. They'll burn for this. You mark my word. Comp 92.3, the rock of Las Vegas. It's not for everybody. Fifteen years ago, gold was only $161 an ounce. Eight years ago, a John Asaro was only $6,000. Three years ago, a New York penthouse was only a million dollars. And this year, a Lexus ES250 is only $21,300. Visit Fletcher Jones Lexus while opportunity is still knocking. The fabulous runner rebels are the superstars of Las Vegas, but there's another superstar in Las Vegas that always ranks number one, the magnificent Las Vegas Hilton, the world's most exciting resort hotel, where you'll find more than 3,000 luxurious rooms and suites. Make the Las Vegas Hilton your Las Vegas headquarters. For reservations, call toll-free 800-732-7117 or 800 Hiltons. That's the Las Vegas Hilton. All right, 48-45, UNLV, Utah State inbounds. It comes to Paris outside the Youngblood three-pointer to tie the game at 48. And Utah State is hitting close to 60% from the field tonight. The Rebels 55. Nice tire move by George Ackles. Ackles, the basket gives him 13. And the Rebels back ahead, 50 to 48. Some duel tonight, huh? Great. 316 to go. Drives in and got foul going up. Ogman and Johnson both there along with Ackles, and we'll see who they one. call it on. They, don't, they should go Ackles right here on the block. But well, once again, see Youngblood be beating Stacy and George on the block right there. Second foul on Ackles. It's two free throws for each club now. The remainder of the half. Rebels had a nine-point lead at 36-27. But Utah State's kept bouncing back, and this man, Kendall Youngblood, has led the rally. He has made his last six field goal attempts, and two of them have been three-pointers. After making the first, Youngblood also drills the second. And we are deadlocked one more time at 50-50. Nobody looked for this tonight, did they? Oh, they really didn't. Rebels without Anderson Hunt, but give Utah State credit. They're battling. Doing a great job running their passing game on offense. Stacey Ogman lobbed the left baseline to Everett Gray into the basket. Too far under this shot. Tip try, no good. Gets back Gray. Gray shots flat this time. Utah State's got the ball with 2.53 to go in a half and a chance to go ahead again. They have led 9 to 8 and 13 to 12 in this ballgame. Daly back in the game with three fouls. The young blood pump fake shoots on the rifles. It needs a bounce. Didn't get it. By that much, Utah State misses going ahead. Anthony up to Ogman in forecourt. Looks inside. Doesn't shoot it inside. Comes out to Anthony. Back to Everett Gray. Down to Larry Johnson. Turns in for a two-footer. Give Everett Gray a lot of credit. He waited till Larry positioned himself to receive that ball. That's a good point, Denny. There you see Everett, little ball fake, and get it in right into Larry. That's nice. That's good basketball right there. Con Smith is going to have to go to the bench. 6'10 freshman Charlie Sager out of Grand Prairie, Texas. Comes on for Roger Daly, who just committed his fourth foul. Con Smith's really rotating a lot of his players. Larry Johnson at the free throw line, trying to complete a three-point play. Made one a while ago, but Elmore Spencer was in the lane, and Larry sinks this one. So Johnson with 12 in the first half, and the Rebels lead 53 to 50. Goodman wasn't here to shoot. It was blocked by Ackles. Here comes Anthony down one-on-one. -on -one. Very good play by George. He really stepped out nice on that ball screen to help Greg. To the Rebels, score five in a row, lead 55-50. Fans are in good at the Thomas and Mike Center. Even two minutes to go in the half, and listen to them. Young Blood is at 21 points in the half. The left baseline, jump shot by Franston, who's back in the game, and the freshman made it. 55-52, you got to be impressed with the poise of the Utah State Aggies tonight. They're not cracking. Doing a very good job running their passing game. Yes, they are. 
Ogman outside will put up a three-pointer. No good. Battle for the rebound. Goes back to Ogman in the lane. Off-balance four-footer. Around. No good. Tip no good. Another tip no good. Ogman put it back up. No good. They still are battling for it. Utah State comes out of there with the basketball. And some elbow swinging going on. Branson and Larry Johnson. And it's a traveling call on Branson. And the Utah State bench can't believe it. That's really a questionable call right there. Looked like France was getting beat up pretty good. 38-year-old Con Smith, the head coach of the he Aggies, didn't like it a bit. They call it jump ball, but it belongs to UNLV. Inbounds pass to Larry Johnson, got fouled. And the man just into the ball game, Charlie Sager, committed the foul. And a real good look by Greg Anthony on the out-of-bounds play. Sager had his head turned, and Greg punched it into Larry Johnson. Con Smith was on Bobby Knight's staff at Indiana for six years. You know what kind of trouble he got in with the UNLV fans a couple of years ago. And I still think there's not much love lost between the, the UNLV and Utah State basketball people. No, there really isn't. You know, that's indicative of the game today. Both teams coming out after each other pretty hard. All right, Larry Johnson will have two free throws coming. <laughs> You know, Utah State won the Big West Tournament three seasons ago in Rod Tuller's last year as coach. But under Con Smith, the Aggies have been only 12 and 16 and 14 and 16. Johnson's second free throw is also good. So the Rebels lead 57 to 52 with 118 to go in the half. 14 for Larry Johnson. Goodman at the Francis. Back inside, the young blood goes up and misses the shot. Followed by Franson, though, is good. ULV defense really spread that time. Larry took the gamble in the passing lane and missed, and that kept it five on four. 57-54, UNLV, just under a minute to go in the first half. Ogman with it. Every Gray, left-handed dribble, hangs, gives it back to Ogman. He put it up, missed the easy shot. Justin's there. Larry went up and drew a foul. Jay Goodman raises his hand. If it's Goodman, it's his third foul. We're starting to talk again here. Everett Gray goes across the lane right there, and little double pump by Stacy. You don't see Stacy no. missed him, and he no, you don't. In. Another powerful move by Larry Johnson. He could have taken your pick down. There's four Aggie players. Down it was there. the third foul on Jay Goodman. So Con Smith may get him out of there. With 46 seconds to go in the half, Rebels will replace Greg Anthony with H. Wallman. Ackles comes out, Elmore Spencer back in. And for the first time tonight, we see Brian Ruffner, a 6'6 freshman of the Aggies out of Provo, who has been starting. Larry Johnson's had a big first half, 14 points plus eight rebounds. There he is against the foul line. Eddie McGarvey's our statistician. Johnson takes the free throw. Mitch Halpern is our remote producer engineer on radio. And Dick Dave Manugi and our executive producer on television, David Irita, director, Don Jacobs, Jim Bernard, Paul Holgat, all helping us tonight. Thank you for joining us. This is Ross Porter. This is Denny Hovannik. Good to see Dick J. Manugi surface again in Las Vegas. 59-54 <laughs> in favor of UNLV with 40 seconds to go in the half. Jay Goodman playing with the three fouls. Out to Gary Patterson. Everett Gray is on him. Right in front of the UNLV bench. Patterson brings it out to Youngblood, who's had a banner first half offensively. Ogman picks him up. Looks good for pull out for the one shot. 24 on the clock. One, one second time differential. Youngblood, 40 feet out. Guarded by H. Wallman. Five point Rebel lead. Behind the back dribble. Goodman around Wallman to the lane. Giving up underneath. Shot blocked by Spencer. Long pass to Gray coming down by himself. And missed a over the head reverse dunk and Tark is steaming. Goodman comes back. This is the three pointer with one second to go. That's the end of the first half. And Jerry Tarkini is screaming at Everett Gray as they leave the floor. Everett got too cute, too much of a hot dog on that play, and he cost the Rebels two points. Halftime, UNLV 59, Utah State 54. We'll be back with our halftime festivities in a moment. A tradition of dining at Binion's Horseshoe. Great service, great food, great prices. Like our $2 steak and our $2 breakfast, the best in Las Vegas. Or Italian cuisine with pizzazz at Benito's. And Binion's famous steaks, of course. 
Then for that special evening, elegant cuisine and a spectacular view, the Sky Room. The special dining tradition of Binion's Horseshoe, where value, service, and good taste are served with every meal. Superior Tire and Auto Service Centers want you to be satisfied with your auto repair. That's why we have Goodyear trained ASC certified technicians working on your car with state-of-the-art equipment and technology. This week, you can get a lube, oil, and filter for just $12.88. This includes up to five quarts of race-proven Quaker State oil. Visit one of the nine Superior Tire and Auto Service Centers, your locally owned Goodyear dealer for 47 years. There has never been a show like it. Peter Jackson's spectacular King Arthur's Tournament. For tickets for five nine seven seventy six hundred. Two dinner performances nightly. King Arthur's Tournament. You won't believe your eyes. Not only has All-America Larry Johnson led the Rebels in scoring in the first half with 16 points, not only does he have eight rebounds, but seven of those rebounds have been offensive caroms, and here was one that Johnson just stayed with and followed home, and UNLV with a five-point lead over surprising Utah State tonight at halftime, 59-54 at the Thomas and Mack Center. Joining us now, his honor, the mayor of the city of Las Vegas, Ron Lurie. Ron, good to see you. But that's a little closer ball game than the Rebel fans won, I think. Well, it's a little close, but I think the Rebels need a tight game like this. They've been having a lot of blowouts, and I think this is good uh, because they need the competition. I think they miss Anderson Hunt's outside shooting a little bit tonight, too. Well, I think so. Anderson uh, needs a rest, and he, he'll be back, and he'll be stronger than ever. As we go into the new year, Mayor, the city of Las Vegas is booming, isn't it? Absolutely. We're having a great year. Uh, our city is growing at a rapid pace, and uh, we're enjoying it right now. You've got special events that you're very proud of over here, too, don't you? Yes, we're actually known as the boxing capital of the world. Uh, we have the Tyson uh, Rudick fight coming up, I believe, March 18th. We have the uh, PGA Tour. It has three stops here in Las Vegas, uh, professional tennis. Uh, we just finished the uh, Bud Light Triathlon out in uh, Boulder City, which was fabulous. And we just have many uh, events. We have uh, 320 days of uh, sunshine here. Wow. So it's beautiful. You've got a lot of people tonight that are watching and listening down in Southern California. And I guess when those people come up, very often they'll just make it a long weekend, won't they? Absolutely. And uh, to make it more convenient for the people in Southern California, we just opened a new visitor center that's about 35 miles from Las Vegas as they come across the state line where they can pick up all of the literature about all the hotels on the Strip in downtown, have a uh, review of all the shows. So by the time they get to Las Vegas, they know exactly what they want to do and what they want to see. Ron, nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you. Mayor Ron Lurie of Las Vegas with us at halftime. The Runner Rebels leading Utah State by only five, 59-54. And we'll be back with more at the Thomas and Mack Center right after this. Top Rank presents Night of the Heavyweights. Ray Mercer, a former Army sergeant, an Olympic gold medalist, a warrior, and a winner. Versus the Italian stallion, Francesco Damiani, the undefeated WBO heavyweight champion. Damiani versus Mercer in the main event. Also featured the star of Rocky V, Tommy Morrison against James Brick Tillis. See it live, pay-per-view, January 11th, from the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City on Request Television. Remember when birthdays were all fun and games? Well, they still are. It's the Rio's first birthday, and we're throwing a party. There's fun. There's food. There's thrills. There's excitement. And lots of really nice people. It's the Rio's first birthday. Everybody's invited to see what's shaking. So come down all January. 
Rio's first birthday party. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. I'm not ever going to give you your money back. Some friendships are based on mutual trust. Respect. I hope you at least still got my car. Yeah, I took real good care of it. And understanding. <laughs> not this one. Oh, your arm hurt? Yeah, thanks to your friend. Hurt bad? Yeah. Good. Eddie Murphy, Nick Nolte. Another 48 hours. What was that for? That was for the basketball. Now we're even. Now playing on request. Are they normal? No. From what I've seen and heard, they're anything but normal. Welcome to the jungle. In fact, they exhibit a certain disrespect for normalcy, if I may use that term, and they also display elements of hostility and psychosis. If it were my call, they'd be institutionalized immediately. Trump 92.3. It's not for everybody. A shout audience at the Thomas and Mack Center tonight and join college basketball and number one ranked UNLV. Getting a little pressure from upstart Utah State, but leading at 59 to 54. And the Aggies have stayed in the ball game primarily because of their starting guards. Kendall Youngblood with 21 first half points, including two here on a jumper. And Jay Goodman has added 15. And we told you earlier, Youngblood had a one game high of 22 against BYU, and he's almost there tonight in just 20 minutes. We're happy to have with us now tonight who, a man who is uh, very familiar to you Las Vegas folks because he does sports talk shows before our Rebel broadcast, uh, post-game shows for us, and uh, he's helped us on play-by-play -play as well over the years, and I'm talking about Tony Cardasco, who joins us tonight not as a play-by-play -play or even a, a color analyst, but because he is the publicity and promotions director of the Showboat Hotel here in Las Vegas. Hey, you're a busy guy. Yeah, I like to stay busy, Ross, and I hope that the Rebels get a little bit busier in the second half themselves. It's been quite a first half of play, and as you mentioned, that Jay Goodman is really something else, and so is Kendall Youngblood. Rebels showing that they're a little bit deficient from behind the three-point arc, and hopefully they'll step it up in the second half. How much do you think the Rebels have missed Anderson Hunt in the first half? Well, not much in the early going because Larry Johnson thought he was the number two guard the way he was passing <laughs> yeah. out of there, right? Yeah. And uh, But, yeah, they are missing him quite a bit. And uh, Travis Bice, not quite the same defensive player as uh, Anderson Hunt is. But they're going to make it up in the second half. And I don't know if they'll cover the 30-point spread tonight, but they're going to they're gonna win going away. Okay, let's change hats, Tony. Let's talk about the showboat. You just had, what, a $25 million facelift over there? Yeah, $25 million. We like to call it a beautification project. And we saw the completion of two new specialty restaurants, a brand new buffet, brand new coffee shop. We have uh, revamped front and rear entrances with valet parking, a new parking garage, everything for the convenience of uh, our local players, uh, our guests that visit the hotel. And really now the showboat is replete with murals, with uh, marble floors, and uh, you'll see fountains of flowers everywhere. It's really something to see, and we invite everyone to come down and take a look at it. Tony, we'll have some more questions for you when we come back. We're at halftime in Las Vegas. UNLV leading to Utah State 59 to 54, and we'll be back right after these words. service centers want you to be satisfied with your auto repair. That's why we have Goodyear trained ASC certified technicians working on your car with state-of-the-art equipment and technology. This week, you can get a lube, oil, and filter for just $12.88. This includes up to five quarts of race-proven Quaker State oil. Visit one of the nine superior tire and auto service centers. Your locally owned Goodyear dealer for 47 years. Sautéed orange roughy. Or chipino. Giant buttered crab legs. Or homemade lasagna. You're going to get some tough decisions at the Gold Coast's Mediterranean room. 
But when you see how reasonable the prices are, your decision's going to be even tougher. Head for the Gold Coast, where fine dining starts at $3.95. A man caught between two women. Breathless Mahoney, meet Dick Tracy. I know who she is. Caught between good and bad. Whose side are you on? Whose side I'm always on. Mine. Forced to choose between love. Tess, you're one in a million. And desire. Aren't you gonna frisk me? Warren Beatty is Dick Tracy. I was beginning to wonder what a girl had to do to get arrested. Wearing that dress is a step in the right direction. Premiering January 18th. Pep Band always did a great job with the basketball games. Halftime, Rebels leading 59-54 over Utah State. Aggies have been red hot ever since the uh, opening tip tonight. They've hit 55 percent from the field compared to 49 percent for UNLV. Rebels winning the rebound battle. Larry Johnson having a big first half. We're chatting with Tony Cardasco, not only about Rebel basketball, but about the Showboat Hotel, where he's the promotions and publicity director. I guess you just finished a promotion over there where you gave away 40 cars and 40 nights. What's next? Well, currently going on, we're giving, uh, we have a promotion that will culminate on the 31st of this month, and that's uh, one lucky person will win $1,000 a month till the year 2000. It's just really our way of saying thank you to all of our patrons that have stuck with us throughout all of our construction and our renovation. You know, Tony, one thing that I think about when I think about the showboat is bowling. You've had some great uh, bowling events over there. And uh, I was reading today where Chris Schenkel is beginning his 30th year of announcing professional bowling. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Chris Schenkel and Nelson Burton Jr. will be at the showboat uh, all of next week, along with uh, the top bowlers in the sport. And yes, it is a sport, and it's the $175,000 showboat PBA Invitational. And it'll all culminate on the 19th. And the finals at the showboat will be from 12 until 1.30 in the afternoon, and admission to the PBA tournament is free. Tony, always good to see you. Keep nice up the good you. job. Nice seeing you, Ross, and thank you again. Tony Cardasco, the showboat hotel with us. We'll be back for the start of the second half in just a few moments. UNLV in a battle tonight, leading by five at the break over Utah State. Gary Martin, president, Nevada Copy Systems. You know, we have several hundred sharp copiers in Nevada offices doing 40, 50, 60,000 copies a month on our high-speed sharp copier duplicators. If your company is still using Xerox, IBM, or Kodak copiers, give us just one chance to simplify and lower the copying costs in your office. See the new high-speed, high-volume sharp copiers. Call Nevada Copy Systems, the authority in office technology. Nevada's copier company. If you like the old Iron Horse, voted number one by locals for the best breakfast specials as well as exceptional values for lunch and dinner, then you're going to love the all-new Iron Horse Cafe. Same great specials, a totally new restaurant, and an expanded menu that goes all the way to China. Featuring authentic Chinese cuisine served from lunch to late night, the 24-hour Iron Horse Cafe. The Palace Station. I'm Chad Weldon at Weldon's Pride Dodge, where we're slashing prices during a third anniversary sale. 91 Dakota. Only Dodge gives you a choice of four, six, or eight cylinder engines. Now only 77.40. 91 Dodge Ram Tough 4x4 pickup. Priced at 11, 393. 91 Dodge Conversion Van, loaded for family fun. Only 15, 992. Come ride with Pride and save. You'll be glad you did. It's almost game time. Henry's relaxed, but Jim is scrambling. Jim tries every 900 number. Plenty of losers and bills. Jim reads all the papers and gets what he pays for. Not much. Jim stays in the dark with out-of-date information from tout sheets. He needs what Henry already knows. That Danny Sheridan, Larry Norris, and Art Manteras give expert picks and analysis before every playoff game. Between the Lines, hosted by Jim Simpson. Live from the Las Vegas Hilton Superbook and only on pay-per-view. In the first half tonight, East Club had seven men score for UNLV. Larry Johnson had 16, George Ackles 12, Stacey Ogman 11, Greg Anthony 8 points, Elmore Spencer 6, Every Gray and Travis Bice each with 3, as the Rebels hit just under 50% from the field. For Utah State, we told you they made 55%. Kendall Youngblood with 21 points, Jay Goodman with 15, Eric Franson 
added eight, three apiece for Alan Gordon and Gary Patterson, two each for Jeff Ferris and Darren Johnson. Rebels with 11 more rebounds, and even though UNLV had fewer turnovers, Utah State kept the ball game close after the Rebels had built a nine-point lead at 36-27. Our last tie was at 50, and the Rebels leading 59-54. to I'm Ross Porter, and here's Denny Hovannik, just back from the Rebel dressing room. What was the chat about down there? Besides the fact Tark must have been very angry at every Gray for a little cutesy move at the end of the half. Well, I'm just glad to be out of the locker room right now. Jerry was absolutely livid, exactly right about Everett's play before the half. Had an easy uh, two points. Instead, he tried to slam dunk. Jerry spent a lot of time. That was a 30-point game it might have been all right. But right now, Jerry's worried about his defensive intensity right now. He'll try to pick it up and really try to force Utah State in a lot of turnovers. All right, on the scoreboard in the Big West Conference, seven minutes to play. UC Santa Barbara leading Pacific 51-42. In the second half, UC Irvine with a 74-58 lead over Fresno State. And at halftime, Cal State Fullerton is in front of San Jose State 41-37. We go to the second half in Las Vegas on our simulcast radio and television. Utah State inbounds. They'll go left to right across your dial if you're with us on radio. 59-54 in favor of number one rank UNLV. Gordon. Coming through traffic in the lane, brings it out to the young blood, knocked away by Anthony. Greg Steele goes down and lays it in. That was out of the zone defense. Jerry opted to go for the zone the first trip down. Anthony with 10 points in one game high this year, 13 in Reno. So the Rebels with a seven point lead in the game they were favored to win by 30. But I don't think the Ozmakers knew Anderson Hunt wasn't going to play when no. they by that line either. You can tell that on the defensive end. All right, here's Gordon playing with uh, three fouls tonight. And another turnover for Utah State. Anthony comes back after Larry Johnson came up with the ball. Cross court to Travis Mice, who started at guard tonight. Stacy Ogman. Ogman, left-handed dribble through the lane, hangs 11 too long. Tipped over though to Ackles, knocked away by Paris. Rebels go with Bice and Anthony at guards, Ackles at center, Johnson and Ogman at forward. Utah State comes back with the three-guard offense they started with tonight. Goodman, Youngblood, and Gordon. Plus Paris is in there. And we're looking at the Francis. Here's a shot for the Rebels, it'll count. Larry Johnson. Another good effort by Larry Johnson. Here you see the nice passing angle by Travis Spice. Good bounce pass and a good finish by Larry with the power move. If you were going to coach against the Rebels, how would you defend Larry down low? Boy, well, I think what, you're, what Con Smith's doing tonight is one thing. You might want to double down on him all the time. I don't think you can play. You don't want to play behind him because Larry doesn't have that good of a... Uh, Larry missed the free throw, but the Aggies were in the lane too soon, and Al Hackney sided him for the violation. Thank you very much, says Larry. Well, Larry has more violations. The other thing I think they're, Utah State's doing tonight, too, they're really collapsing down and forcing UNLV to shoot the perimeter jump shot. Johnson's second free throw on the right is good. Larry told me today he's not going to get his battered car back for two weeks. Okay. Boy, he must have really totaled it. There's the biggest lead of the night for the Rebels, 64-54, as they come out and score the first five points in the second half. Goodman under the basket, wide open, Gordon, great pass. But Greg turned his ball, uh, head on the basketball. I had to come back with the dunk. Give the big people a lot of credit for running their lane. Stacey Ogman was down there in the three-point lane, and George Eccles ran his lane down the middle. Eccles has 14 points, only two shy of his career high. He achieved uh, that with two 16-point games earlier in the year, as we told you. Here's Goodman in front of the Aggie bench. A pass stolen by Anthony. Nobody down there. Greg all the way. Lays it over and in. And the Rebels come out hot in the second half. Nice defensive rotation by Greg. That's 12 points for Greg Anthony, and the fans salute the Rebels. Got a timeout here. Con Smith getting out of hand here. 18.06 to go in the second half. UNLV 68, Utah State 56. We'll be back in Las Vegas in a moment. A tradition of dining at Binion's Horseshoe. Great service, great food, great prices. Like our $2 steak and our $2 breakfast, the best in Las Vegas. Or Italian cuisine with pizzazz at Benito's. And Binion's famous steaks, of course. Then for that special evening, elegant cuisine and a spectacular view, the Sky Room. The special dining tradition of Binion's Horseshoe, where value, service, and good taste are served with every meal. Better. Three new menus, three times better. I tell you why. 
Them people on KOMP Radio are all a bunch of smart Alex. They should have their mouth washed out with lye soap. No, no, I'm not a second. Shut up and listen. And all that rock and roll. Be you! I'd rather hear a dog puke. Be rocking with the stones on the rock of Las Vegas. They ought to be took out and shot. Comp 92.3. It's not for everybody. In the first one minute and 50 seconds of the second half, UNLV has outscored Utah State 9 to 2. However, Gordon drives down, missed the layup for the Aggies. Greg Anthony hustles back with the ball for UNLV. Device behind the line. Off to the left, Larry Johnson, another rebound. Out to Anthony. Back to Ogman, left wing area, down low to Larry, double, triple, D. Larry taps it back to his friend Stacy Ogman. Ogman puts a move on Youngblood. Left baseline has to back out with the dribble. Flip it out to Bice. Bice dribbling around Goodman. Take it all away. Fading. Nine footer no good. Rebounded by Frenson. It's a real shot, tough shot for Travis off the dribble. If you join his late Anderson Hunt not playing tonight. Stacey Ogman knocks a pass loose and then steals it from Funk. Here's a two on one with Johnson. Johnson kicks him out of bounds. Larry said, I can't believe that. I think Larry was just trying to kick it back to ice for the dunk. Very unfortunate thing for the Rebels right there. You know, we've talked, Denny, throughout the year on radio about the fact that the Rebels have such a soft schedule, especially here at home. Maybe this is a good thing for UNLV to get pushed this hard tonight. Well, they are. It'll definitely help them. Drive it in and hitting a layup very nicely is Gordon as he challenged the big men underneath. The Rebels really haven't been tested all year. 68-58 UNLV, three minutes into the second half. Bice with the ball outside, top of the key to Ackles, looks low and throws it out of bounds, trying to hit Larry Johnson. That was a real tough angle right there. Rebels only had the seven turnovers in the first half. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Lady Rebels won tonight. UNLV 84, San Jose State 55. So UNLV 12 and 0, number six in the country. Youngblood, pump fake down the lane, take it all away. Back trying, no good. Ball is free out front. Who's going to get it? Larry Johnson to Anthony. Anthony moving into four court, holding it up. Back to the trailer. Johnson, three pointer. Nice rotation. Just what you do. Don't think Larry's going to knock it down. He does. Five for 11 on three pointers. 71 58 Rebels. 22 for Johnson to face UNLV in scoring tonight. The average is 21 a game. Block shot. Outlet pass Rebels. Anthony all the way. But Clive Smith is absolutely livid about the no call down here on Larry Johnson. Alan Gordon went in to shoot. And listen to the fans in Las Vegas. Seventy three fifty eight and Utah State sees young blood drive to the basket. We've got a foul call on the Rebels. Elmore Spencer and Everett Gray will come on for UNLV. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg is really receiving a lot of ball picks right here. Stacy Ogman got his second foul here. Nice little hesitation right there by Kendall Youngblood. Ackles and Ogman leave the floor for the Rebels. 15-54 to go in the game. UNLV with his biggest lead of the night at 15. Comes into Franson. Back to Goodman. Three-pointer air ball. Gray may have got a piece of that. Here comes Anthony all the way. Put it up. No good. Blocking foul will call on Utah State. And that will be the fourth of the night on Allen Gordon. Nice defensive play by Everett Gray on the other end. Here you see Greg right here just going right to the hole. Greg got a little bit of numbers right there. And there you see the block. Good call by the official. Larry Johnson now with 12 rebounds to go with his 22 points. He's been in double figures in 50 games he's played for UNLV. No surprises there, Ross. Automatic, exactly. all America. No surprises. All right, for Utah State, Jeff Harris, who started tonight at forward, comes on, and Randy Funk will leave. Youngblood got a breather, and now he will come on as a substitute for Gordon, who leaves with the four foul. You know, UNLV's opponents have only hit 38% of their field goal tries, so it's surprising to see.
see Utah State bang in 55 percent the first half. They did a good job spreading their offense down and running their passing game. Greg Anthony at the foul line for two, six to first. So Greg having his biggest night of the year offensively. He now has 15 points. He once had 32 points in a game a couple of years ago. You don't think of him on an offensive force. He really does. He's the uh, quarterback of this ball club. He also made the second free throw. You know, you talk about the high field goal percentage of Utah State the first half. That's also without Anderson Hunt. You bet. Don't want to make excuses. The Rutherford Rebel regulars and double figures tonight. Goodman down the baseline, throws it out the foul line. Here comes Franklin in for a nine-footer. They made the lane. Nice shot. Nice little baby hook right there. Ten points for the freshman, 75-60 UNLV. And we've got 15 and a half minutes to go to the ball game. Rebels on the road after tonight for six of their next seven games. We'll be at Fresno Saturday night. Have it for you on K-Dawn on the radio network of the Rebels. It'll be an eight o'clock game. Anthony for three is short. Air ball out of bounds. Greg said, wait a minute, somebody hit me, Red. Well, it's very uncharacteristic to Greg to throw up that one that bad. Well, he hit him on the elbow, but no call. UNLV will be at Irvine next Thursday night and plays its next home game a week from Saturday night against Long Beach State. 75-60, Rebels, 15 minutes to go. Young one misses the foul line jumper. Larry Johnson with his 13th rebound. Off to Anthony, three on three. Anthony will back it out. Nice defensive transition by Utah State. Travis Bice. Dispenser out high over to the left winger at every gray. Back to Anthony. Right handed dribble, cuts through the lane, hang, eight footer on the way. No good. Rebounded by Brian Rutter, taken away by Spencer, and missed it wide open underneath. Incredible he can miss that one. He would have made that one. Maybe. Young Blood left handed dribble into four court. Kendall and Jay Goodman haven't scored since halftime. No, Young Blood but it was quiet the first half, too, the first five. Here's Ruffner's hanging 15 footer, no good. Spencer with a rebound. Out to Anthony, up the right sideline to Bice. Three pointer, Kenneth. See how quickly UNLV converts to the other end. 78 to 60. Rich Jardine will be in when he can for Utah State. Goodman, who had the 15 points in the first half, double teamed by Anthony and Johnson. Ball knocked loose. Jay gets it back to the baseline and blocking foul Larry Johnson. That'll be his second of the night. Goodman, a hard nosed kid. Did a nice job getting the foul against Larry Johnson here. There you see, almost lost the handle of the ball, got it back, and almost turned the corner on Larry. Larry comes across the body. game though, Ross. Both yes, teams it is. Playing. It's a spectator's game, Both isn't it? teams playing hard. Yes, they are. Don Smith, who grew up, went to Logan High School in Utah, back in the Cash Valley now. The Aggie coach looking on is Goodman. Receipts for his 16th point of the game. You know, Rick Majerus, the Utah coach, compared him to Scott Skiles. Thought a lot of him. Yes, yeah. he did. Goodman also made the second free throw. So 78-62 Rebels. Anthony DeBice, another three point. Jardine taps it over to Rufter. It comes to Goodman up in front of us. Left to right to the Aggies in the second half. Goodman ran into an obstacle. Dribbling around a couple of Rebels. Takes it all the way to the lane and kicks it out. Here's Rufter in the air for a 15 jumper. No good. Jardine taps it back to Young Blood. Blocked by Johnson. Out of bounds. Well, some great individual plays right there by UNLV. Two minutes to play. You see Irvine is blasting Fresno State 99 to 80. That has to be a misprint, Ross. Fullerton 46, San Jose State 44 in the second half. And Santa Barbara leading Pacific at last report, 51-42. Is that sports ticker working okay? <laughs> Always works well. Here's H. Wallman in and Greg Anthony out for UNLV. Well, Greg did a nice job, especially at the beginning of the half. Really flying around the court. 13-32 left in the game. The Rebels are leading by 16. Goodman throws it in. It comes to Franson. He gives it outside to Youngblood. Wallman picks up Kendall. Over to Jardine, guarded by Larry Johnson. Rebels playing their amoeba zone. Back to Jardine, to Youngblood, to Goodman. Big out lineup for UNLV. Yes, it is. Here's Jardine's three-pointer. He got it. First points of the night for the extra out of St. George, Utah, 78-65 in favor of UNLV. Coming up on the 13-minute mark of the second half. Here's Ace Walman, alley with pass. Ogden lays it in. Boy, Stacy saw the mismatch right there and give a lot of credit to Ace. Really let Stacy go up and get that lob. The Rebels reach 80. They scored 124 against this club here last year. Blocked shot by Spencer. Comes to Walman. Stolen back by Goodman. Goodman against Gray. Pulls up. He'll fire a three-pointer on the iron. Walman had it. Long 
lost it. Goodman got it to Wallen Fowley. Hit him in the neck. Pretty heads up play by Goodman right there. Yes, it is. Saw the ball was coming short and retrieved his own rebound. How in the world did Jay Goodman not get any playing time at Iowa State? Well, that's really strange. There you see the three-point attempt pull up by Jay Goodman. There he sense it was coming off. There, nice follow. Roger Daly playing with four fouls reports to the Utah State lineup to replace Eric Franson. Every Gray is out for the Rebels. Anthony right back in there. Ross, I'll make you a bet. Next time Everett Gray has a wide open layup, I guarantee you he's just going to lay it in. No done. <laughs> I'm not a betting man, but I think you're absolutely correct, Mr. Hovannik. Boy, was Jerry absolutely amazed at him. 15-point Rebel lead, 12 and a half minutes to go in Las Vegas. Jerry playing the zone again, out of bounds. We're on a simulcast tonight, radio and television. Down the baseline, driving in, missing the shot is Daly. Follow no good for Utah State. Daly gets it back, throws it back on the court to Ogman. Here come the Rebels, back four on three. Ogman up the middle. Kick it out to Anthony. Three-pointer! Off the right. Spencer's there, put it back. Miss. Elmore's got it. Pump fake, put it up again. No good, he fouled. Well, that was real good body position right there by Elmore. Here you see the nice offensive rebound by Elmore Spencer. Goes up again. Here he is underneath the bucket a little bit too far. We haven't seen Melvin Love yet, but he is eligible to play tonight for the Rebels. Jerry Tarkanian walking right in front of Melvin. He went sure to high is. school in San Bernardino, California. Played community college ball up in Utah. Sure Elmore Jerry Spencer at the line. Right He's 8 for 17 as a foul shooter since joining the running Rebels. Utah State tab with the conference coaches to finish sixth in the Big West this year, while the media picked the Aggies fifth. Spencer missed them both. Tip no good. Followed by Anthony underneath. Good. Where'd he come from? Boy, nice ball. Really jumped in the lane. Timed that perfectly. And the ball lost out of bounds by Utah State in backcourt. Yeah, Rick Jardine a little too anxious to get the ball in bounds. Anthony with 18 points. Johnson with 22. Ackles has 14. Ogman has 13. So with Anderson Hunt missing tonight, his colleagues have done okay. Admirably. It took a better while to get going. It yeah. Yes, it did. We got a foul away from the ball on Rich Jardine of Utah State. He was holding Elmore Spencer, I think, in the lane. Jardine's first foul. Each side, three team fouls in the second half. Timeout, 11.58 to go in the game. UNLV 82, Utah State 65. We'll be back in a minute. Thinking about a new car or truck, but don't think you can afford it? At Gordon Ford and Import Center, we slash prices so everybody can afford to drive a new Ford in 91. We have special dealer incentives, rebates up to $1,500, and interest rates as low as 7.9%. Get the new front-wheel drive Ford Escort from $152 per month for only 24 months. Great gas mileage and low insurance rates. And the world's best-selling pickup, the Ford F-Series, for as little as $10,997. You can afford to buy new at Gordon Ford and Import Center, 2121 East Sahara. Come to the new Palace Station during our grand reopening and try the all-new Iron Horse Cafe, featuring authentic Chinese cuisine and American fare. Or the new Whistle Stop Snack Bar for great jelly sandwiches. And the new Palace Saloon with nightly live entertainment. Our 600-room tower and new parking garage are just steps from all the fun. It's an all-new Palace Station. It'll be your favorite all over again. Palace Station. Over time, European cars have evolved into fine luxury automobiles. The Lexus LS400, however, achieved car and driver's highest customer satisfaction ratings ever in value, workmanship, and overall satisfaction in just its first year. So much for the theory of evolution. Test drive the LS400 at Fletcher Jones Lexus. At halftime, the Runner Rebels have come out and outscored Utah State 23 to 11 to build a 17 point lead with about 12 minutes to go in this game. Yeah, did it all with defense and good shot selection. Inbounds pass for the Rebels comes to H. Wallman. Over to Greg Anthony having a super night offensive lead. Baseline jumper, good for his 20th point. Nice little baseline jumper by Greg. He had two players hanging on him. You know, Greg's had 12 points since halftime, so he's done it in eight minutes. 84-65, running Rebels. Trying to go 10-0, trying to extend their two-year winning streak to 21. They'll be at Fresno, 8 o'clock game Saturday night. 
I cannot believe Fresno got beat tonight. Here's a three-pointer to the way. That's good for Brian Rutger, his first points of the night for the Aggies. Get a couple threes out of the Amoeba defense today. I don't think Jerry's going to be too happy with that. Uncontested threes. Anthony with the ball outside to H. Wall. Right wing area to Stacey Ackman, our simulcast. That's right. We're working on radio and television. Down a little Larry Johnson through the lane. Pass it Great pass by Johnson. Very good interior pass by Larry, and a nice cut by Elmore. Good hands, good catch. 86-68, UNLV. These clubs will get together late this month in Logan, right after the Rebels play at Louisville two days before. Goodman hemmed in the corner of the baseline, and I think H. Wallman fouled him, according to Dave Libby. Pretty good defense for a while for H. I think Goodman's pretty good at drawing these fouls. Little double team with Larry and H right there on the baseline. I think they got H on the push on the on the leg. Final score: UC Santa Barbara 72, Pacific 66. Guess what Santa Barbara was favored by? Six. Okay. 10 52 to go in the ball game. You set me up perfectly, Rod. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty tough. To, if I miss your questions, I boy, I'm in trouble. I need a multiple. I'm glad you give me a multiple choice. <laughs> We're all, all right. in trouble. Travis Bison, H. Wallman out for UNLV. Goodman gets it into a wide open Roger Daly, who banks it in. Breakdown defensively on the inbounds pass. Yes, for Stacey Ogman. That didn't take long, did it? Can't impress upon you how well the Rebels are running their lane. Stacey Ogman flying down the left side of the lane. Are they just that quick getting back, Denny, or is it... A lax defense. Combination of both. Here he's daily in the baseline, and Travis Bice fouled him. For the most part, Utah State's defensive transition has been very good tonight, but give Stacey Ogman a lot of credit for keep running that lane. Second foul on Bice, five team fouls on the Rebels. Here you see the baseline drive, a little pull-up jumper. Travis on the body right there. Rebels led at halftime, 59-54. They're now leading 88-70. to With 10.26 to go, the Rebels average 98 points a game. Here's two free throws coming for Brian Ruffner. He swishes the first one. So he's made 21 out of 26 this season. UNLV plays at Utah State on January 28th. Ruffner also made the second free throw. Coming on for the Aggies, Gary Patterson, the 6'6 sophomore out of Redmond, Washington, who had a three-point goal in the first half. 88-72, running Rebels. Anthony, right hand dribble to four court to Larry Johnson, picked up by Daly. Fouls out to Bice. Spencer in the lane gets out of there. Hogman's got the ball on the left side. Right hand dribble to the lane. Hangs for around, around, didn't go. Slapped out. Bice has got it, luckily, to Anthony. Three pointer. Twist. And a real good look by Travis Bice. Really did a nice job of reversing the ball there off the missed shot. Greg Anthony has had 15 points in the second half, 23 on the night. And a violation traveling on Utah State. That's an interesting call. Richie Ballesteros is right on top of the call. No call there. Dave Libby made it out front, and he's explaining why to Con Smith. Here's Bice taking the pass up in forecourt for UNLV. Out to Anthony. 91-72, running Rebels to Larry Johnson. Delmore Spencer back to Larry. Left alone. Three-pointer. Got it. We've said it before, we'll say it again. You can't keep the Rebels down very long. Not 40 minutes. No, impossible. Fans love them in Las Vegas. Why shouldn't they? They're the talk of the town. Young boys to the lane. Ten foot fadeaway on the rim. Rebound Johnson. Knocked out of bounds by Utah State. Ninety-four, seventy-two, running Rebels. Remember they got 124 against Utah State here a year ago. They got 9-17 to play tonight. Here's Anthony flipping it ahead to Ogman. Ogman makes three-pointer. Whirling Dervish to the lane, loses the ball. Roger Daly ties him up. It'll go still to UNLV out of bounds. Stacy with one little too, too many dribbles there. When they played the Aggies here on this floor last year, the Rebels took 87 shots and hit 63% from the field. Inbound pass. Shot Larry Johnson, he's fouled. Real tough mismatch for Roger Daly down there. George Ackles in for UNLV. Elmore Spencer will leave. Elmore says, 
I'm, I'm working up a sweat here tonight. Well, he's getting some minutes. The last foul was Jay Goodman's fourth. Now, Eric Franson comes back for the Aggies. Do you know since halftime, neither Kendall Youngblood nor Jay Goodman, who had 36 points between them in the first half, has tallied a field goal? It's a pretty good Rebel defense right there, really coming up on him. Larry Johnson, free throw. Is good. You talk about balanced scoring, the Rebels are getting tonight. 26 for Johnson, 23 for Anthony. 15 for Ock, 14 for Ackles, 8 for Spencer, 6 for Vice, 3 for Gray. Larry also made the second one. 96-72 in favor of Nevada, Las Vegas. And the ball knocked out of bounds for the Rebels. Here's a three-pointer by Goodman, and he's finally got a field goal in the second half. Like Greg fell asleep right there. Didn't know if they were in a zone or a man. And Goodman got the open three-pointer. Goodman's fourth three-pointer tonight. He's got 20 points. The runner made young blood. The other guard has 21. Ockman in three pass. Johnson. Bank it in. Once again, you see Roger Daly down there with Larry Johnson. Nice steal by Greg Anthony. Pretty play on Gordon. Back to Johnson on a pass for Greg. He missed it down again. He was fouled. 98-75, and the fans love it at the Thomas and Mack. I think Roger Daly will sleep good. Boy, nice pick by Greg uh, Anthony. There you see a little dish to Larry Johnson. Good power move by Larry. Roger Daly just fouled out of the game for the Aggies. He'll sleep well tonight. He'll leave with two points. A lot of people foul out when they try to guard Larry Johnson. Johnson makes another free throw. He had reached 30. 16 in the first half, 14 in the second. He had 35 earlier in the year against Michigan State. Johnson also makes the second free throw. The Rebels reached 100. We've still got eight and a half minutes to go. 100 to 75, UNLV. Goodman's three-pointer looks good in and out. Heartbreak. Anthony, a Rebel rebound. Hustles out of forecourt. Flips it back to Austin. Anthony goes down. Nobody hurt. Ogman to Ackles down the line. Lost the ball. Tapped out. It comes to Gordon. And Vice kicked the ball. He'd be a pretty good soccer player. Not bad. That was the right play right there by Travis. <laughs> that was the right idea by Gordon to bounce it up. Saved the two-on-one fast break from really the Aggies. Did. Utah State calls timeout. 8.13 to go. UNLV 100. Utah State 75. Back in a moment. If you're looking for the fastest, easiest, most convenient sports wagering in Nevada, check out Leroy Sports Place. They're everywhere. From Reno to Las Vegas and points in between, we've got your action from parlay cards and proposition bets to futures. They're everywhere. Fully computerized with up-to-the-minute lines on all your favorite sporting events. Baseball, basketball, hockey, boxing, and football. So for the fastest, easiest, and most convenient sports wagering action statewide, it's Leroy Sports Place. They're everywhere. Thinking about a new car or truck, but don't think you can afford it? At Gordon Ford and Import Center, we slash prices so everybody can afford to drive a new Ford in 91. We have special dealer incentives, rebates up to $1,500, and interest rates as low as 7.9%. The 91 Ford Festiva L Plus, loaded not stripped for only $59.97, and the 91 Ford Explorer will have you exploring new heights in a style and color that's right for you for as low as $14,997. You can afford to buy new at Gordon Ford and Import Center, 2121 East Sahara. Top Rank presents Night of the Heavyweights. Ray Mercer, a former Army Sergeant, an Olympic gold medalist, a warrior, and a winner. Versus the Italian Stallion, Francesco Damiani, the undefeated WBO heavyweight champion. Damiani versus Mercer in the main event. Also featured the star of Rocky V, Tommy Morrison against James Quick Tillis. See it live, pay-per-view, January 11th, from the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City on Request Television. Thank you. 
the fabulous running rebels of the superstars of Las Vegas. But you know there's another superstar in Las Vegas that always rates number one. That's the magnificent Las Vegas Hilton, the world's most exciting resort hotel. You're going to find more than 3,000 luxurious rooms and suites over there, dazzling top name entertainment in the world famous Hilton showroom, outstanding dining and 14 internationally themed restaurants. So make the Las Vegas Hilton your Las Vegas headquarters. Call toll free 800-732-7117 or 800 Hilton's for reservations. 100 to 75. UNLV leading Utah State. Eight minutes to play in Las Vegas. Ross Porter and Denny Hovannik back with you tonight on our simulcast. Gordon with the basketball. Holds up for the Aggies. Guarded by Bice. Brings it out to Goodman. Young blood 0 for 5 and Goodman 1 for 3 in the second half for the Aggies. So really shade Goodman on this uh, zone now. Here's Gordon weaving through traffic. Loses the ball. Comes out to Greg Anthony. Two on two with Bice on the right side. Greg all the way. Releases and got fouled by Kendall Youngblood. In their 17 previous meetings, and we'll talk about this in a moment, but first, travel arranged for U.S. Air, offering convenient daily non-stops between Las Vegas and Southern California. U.S. Air, America's most frequent flyer. As I was about to say, in their 17 previous meetings, UNLV has beaten Utah State by an average score of 102 to 85. And the Rebels have scored 100 or more in eight of those games. The night they've already got 100. They got it with eight and a half minutes left. Anthony's bid for his 24th point is good as he sinks the first free throw. And Greg is having a stellar second half with 16 points. What were our numbers in Reno? What did we score that game? 131. Okay. Reno had 81. All right. Anthony's second one good for his 25th point. Remember, he one game high, 32 as a Rebel. Rebels have out rebounded Utah State 45 to 19, and they beat them on the offensive boards 22 to 7. Really taking control of the second half here. Franson gives it up to Youngblood, guarded by Ogman. Down low, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. That's perfect defensive position George by Jackals UNLV. over there, helping out. In the eight previous games between these schools here at the Thomas and Mack Center, UNLV's won by an average score of 106 to 84 and scored at least 100 points six times. So the Aggies don't defend them very well. Not at all. They've had some great shootouts though at Logan. Remember that triple overtime game a few years ago? Sure. 142, 140. Anthony tried for a steal, just missed. Young Bucks got it. Alley oop pass. Ackles steals it. Slaps it over to Anthony. Three on three to Bice. Three pointer off the rim. Larry Johnson, another rebound. And he missed the shot. And we've got travel he travel called on Larry. Larry. And George Ackles comes over, and he and Larry Johnson in a bear hug going up the court. They're having a good time tonight. We really hope are. you are too. Not a real good play by Youngblood trying to lob against the Rebels. That play is not going to work too often. Spencer and Gray in for the Rebels. Ogman and Johnson out. And this may be the last time we see the All-America candidates of the Rebels tonight. They've had great games again. They really have. Any Larry. team in America have better forwards? I, well, I like to see maybe the uh, Pistons. <laughs> College team. Okay. Here's Goodman Ooh. going to the baseline. Travis Bice got run over. Foul Goodman. He's out of the game. Boy, nice defensive position by Travis. I'd like to see that one again. Goodman gave him a little elbow here. Here you see Goodman trying to turn the corner. I don't think Travis was set. I think it's a bad call. Law of verticality. I hope I throw that one on you. Okay. Goodman leads with 6.54 left of the game. He had only five points in the second half, 20 on the night. Gives the Rebel defense a lot of credit, but he's a good little player. 102-75 in favor of UNLV. Three-pointer every great goal. The Rebels by 30. They were favored by 30, and the game was once 50-50. to 50. Now it's 105-75. We still have six minutes to go. Explosive. That's all you can say about this year's Runner Rebels. Last year's Runner Rebels. This team better than last year's, Denny? Uh, boy, I don't know. I think it is. Do you? Yeah. That's a very good question. You think about it. Get back to me about April. All right. Six March. to go. <laughs> Three-pointer, Allen Gordon. Off the left, no good. Great defensive rebound, Gray. Out to Anthony. Here come the Rebels again. Three on two. Anthony over to Bice. Left alone. Three-pointer. Got it. 
Rebels in all cylinders right now. You know, you asked me that question about the Rebels, they better than this year. You really can't gauge it right now because of the competition. That's right. They really haven't played anybody, they haven't played anybody. It's tough everybody, to get a feel. They've beaten everybody they played by between 20 and 50 points. They're 33 points ahead tonight. Can't get a real good feel for this ball club. Travis Spice has three three-pointers for his nine points. Underneath, the basket for Utah State and a foul on Greg Anthony of the Rebels. Count it. Jeff Paris gets the field goal. Here you see Jeff Paris slashing the lane. A little mismatch there for Elmore Spencer on the perimeter. Unofficially tonight, as Greg Anthony leaves the game to a standing ovation, replaced by H. Wallman. Paris at the line, puts it up and missed it. Rebounded by George Ackles. 540 to go. Rebels 108. Utah State 77, Ackles down the middle, 15 foot jumper, too long. Gray's got it for UNLV and backs out with a dribble. Underneath, Elmore Spencer. Cross courts to buys, he loves to shoot. Here comes the it. That'll work. Travis Bice, a dozen points tonight. Four three-pointers, giving him 23 on the year. 111-77. Utah State scored 111 the other night against Irvine and won. Tonight, they're getting buried in the second half by an aroused Rebel team that got screamed at at halftime by the tarp. Screamed. Off balance shot is a beauty for Brian Ruffner. You're being polite, Russ. I wasn't there. You were. 111 seconds. Goes up to the foul. Denny McGarvey gives us these unofficial numbers tonight on Larry Johnson. But first, we're going to take a look at a replay. Yeah. Here you see H. Waldman passing the ball ahead. Nice little grab. Good catch by George Ackles. And there you see the foul. All right. Larry Johnson's line unofficially looks like this as David Rice comes into the game and Travis Bice leaves to another thunderous ovation. Larry Johnson with 31 points, 15 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 steals. I like to see Greg Anthony's line, too. I'll bet he's had some numbers. All right. George Ackles with 14 points. Needs these two to equal his career best. Got the first one. Rebels got a scare in the first half. Blew a nine-point lead. Left the court intermission, but he by only five, and then he came out and he erupted. Ackles makes the next free throw. He's got 16 points for the third time this year. Did it against Alabama, Birmingham, and also against San Jose State last time out. 113-79 Rebels, 4.45 to go in the ballgame. Ruffner with the ball to simulcast. Out to Patterson and back in there to Paris. Comes to Ruffner, cross court, he's passed to Allen Gordon. David Rice is on him. To Ruffner, into the corner. Shot by Paris, the three is good. Nice little ball rotation by Utah State. 1-13-82, UNLV. And led by as many as 33. That was their biggest charge the other night here against San Jose. H. Wallman's shot looked short, barely drew iron. H gets the miss, follows the hole the bank. His first point of the game, 115-82, coming up on the four-minute mark in Las Vegas. Ross Porter and Denny Hovannik watching H. Wallman commit a foul outside for the Rebels. Remember, we're back with you Saturday night from Fresno. They've changed the starting time up there at Selen Arena. It's going to be an 8 o'clock start Saturday night. So we'll be with you on KDWN on the Rebel Radio Network at 7.30. Now George Ackles will leave and another ovation. UNLV really played well in the second half, really asserted themselves. Did they come to life? Boy, exactly. Gordon's going to be the free throw shooter in a moment for Utah State. John Smith said we want to make the Rebels set up their half court offense as much as possible. Didn't work too well in the second half. No. Rebel defense took over again, just dominating. Tonight's paid attendance, and it was a sellout 18,792. Real nice crowd. Good atmosphere, too. The second free throw, no good. Elmore Spencer yanks down the rebound. Every Gray over in the left wing area, out to Spencer. Looks inside to Rice, comes outside to Wallman. Over to Gray. Gray to Elmore Spencer. Back to Everett. In the air, three-pointer short. Melvin loves him the game, and he slaps it back to Everett. Gray drives across the lane, hangs, loses control, gets it back. Bank no good. Comes out to David Rice. He'll back out with a dribble. That time in the game. 
Here's a steal. Almost. Gordon tipped it out of bounds. A little bit on Melvin Love. He averaged 29 points a game as a senior in high school. We're going to have a timeout right now. 3.31 to go. UNLV 115. Utah State 83. We'll be back in Las Vegas in a minute. Gary Martin, President, Nevada Copy Systems. With our new Sharp Fax machines, you can do more business, better business, by sending high-resolution copies across town, across the state, around the world in 12 seconds for pennies. And of course, Sharp is the number one selling line of fax machines in America today. Order your Sharp fax machines today. Call Nevada Copy Systems, the authority in office technology. Call 736-COPY. There has never been a show like it. Peter Jackson's spectacular King Arthur's Tournament. For tickets for 597 UNLV's got a 115-83 lead over Utah State as we come back to play. Final score in UC Irvine beat Fresno State 105-82. Fresno State was favored by two and a half on the road. Here's a turnover on the Rebels. Bobby Joyce enters the game for UNLV to go with Rice, Love, Gray, and Walmer. 317 to play. Jardine got the ball outside. Looks like the Rebels will finish up in their zone. Cal State forward and leading San Jose State 66-58. With the ball is Rutger to the left baseline. Underneath the pass, a miss, a tip, no good. It comes over. Still volleyball around. He's going to get base Walman for UNLV. Three minutes to go. Walman hurries up, gives outside. Dave Rice in the air. He's got it in and out. Melvin Love's got it. Good hook and throw. His first two points in the Rebel. He goes down, and the crowd loves it. A little jump hook. Good to see Melvin get in the scorebook. 117-82. Melvin Love went to Clark Community College in Las Vegas, earlier at St. Salt Lake City Community College, where he last played. Three-pointer for Ruffner of Utah State, who didn't do anything in the first half. Has had 10 points in the second half. 117, 86 is the score. It's like we'll have a foul here on Randy Funk. Nice positioning by uh, Melvin Love. Here's the unofficial line tonight on Greg Anthony. 25 points, 7 assists, 4 steals, and 4 rebounds. Real good line. Rebels have had 5 men in double figures. Johnson with 31, Anthony with 25, Ackles with 16, Ogden with 15, Vice with 12, Spencer's had 8, 6 for Gray, and 2 each for Woolman and Love. You know, Greg's smart enough to know that he has to pick up some of the scoring load with his running mate on the bench, Anderson Hunt. <laughs> Gary Tarkanian saying today he thought it'd be tougher for Melvin Love to get into the offensive team than the defensive end. He misses the first free throw. He went to Cajon High School in San Bernardino. Six, nine and a half, 250. That's all the Rebels needed was a guy that big to add to their, their depth. Huh? Him and Bobby Joyce can be roommates. <laughs> Melvin also missed the second free throw, and Utah State's got the rebound. Charlie Sager making his first appearance in the second half, came away with it. Rich Jardine up into four court, 217 to play. 117, 86, wall and steals the ball. Goes down unmolested for a layup. Very good anticipation by H on the steal. So the Rebels threat to get as many points against Utah State as they had against the Aggies here last year. With a tally of 124. 119-86. Sager underneath. Blocking the ball. Gray comes back to Funk and he follows it home on a garbage basket. His first two points. 119-88. to Walman working against Jardine. Ball knocked away. Walman couldn't save it. Out of bounds. Jerry's yelling at H right over there. Mishandling the ball. Wonder if we'll see Brian here for the last minute 46. The crowd went. We went Brian. That's a call for Mr. Emerzian. 
in the game. Brent Lofton out of Los Angeles for the Aggies. To Funk. Funk throws the ball to Ruffner. He turns for a seven-foot jumper. Missed it. Final for the rebound. Melvin Love's got it. And he elbowed Ruffner and got away with it. John Smith protesting. Dave Rice is three-pointer short. Melvin Love's final good. I thought they might get him for grabbing the rim and let him get away with it. No, he had to protect himself. One, 21, 88, <laughs> UNLV with 111 to go. Lofton in the forecourt. Outside with his pass to Ruffner and the fans applauding the Rebels. Bobby Joyce kicked the ball. And here comes Brian Emerzian for the Rebels. Bounce pass comes to Rich Jardine of Utah State. Less than a minute to play. <laughs> the second team playing hard here. They they've are been playing taking, hard. They've been taking a lot of heat from Jerry. Here's Jardine, 16-footer. Short, Ruffner offensive rebound, pump fake, and Melvin Love fouled him going up. So the Rebels will have won their last 26 home games. They'll be 10-0 this year. Do you they, see the shot attempt? They nice will have won 21 in a row, Denny, going back to last February. And they still will never have lost a basketball game to Utah State. They'll be 18-0. Brian Ruffner sinks the free throw for the Ags. Well, that was a devastating defeat for Fresno today. I thought for sure they would beat Irvine. That was a good win for Irvine. And Ruffner also cuts the cards with a second free throw. 12 for Ruffner on the second half. Emerging into Gray. Gray goes baseline left. Underneath the love, and we got a whistle and a foul call on Utah State. And, of course, the fans all want a mercy and to get up a shot. Brian trying to get his first points of the season. You better do it here, but you can't do it on the road. I'm sure Jerry won't. He's only allowed to take, take 12. <laughs> He's got a 14-man team now, doesn't he? Yes. Well, with all these injuries, Anderson Hunt's hurting a little bit. Greg has his back spasms. Melvin, Melvin Love the makes the free throw. He's got five points. Can I do play-by-play -play here the last 40 seconds? Yeah, I might as well. Okay. There you go. You didn't call it. No, no, I, I called the first one. Oh, okay. that was oh, you don't take credit for the ones they missed. Exactly. Okay, Love missed the second free throw, folks. 32 seconds to go. Out to Ruffner, 122.90. Steal by Dave Rice. Jardine Valley. It's all the way misses. Ball comes back to Gray underneath. He puts it up and down. And there's 124 for the Rebels against Utah State here for the second year in a row. Last year was 124 to 90. What is it tonight? 124 to 90 with 15 seconds to play. Amazing. Our friend Al Hackney called a foul here on Brian and Mersey. I can't even believe this call. The Rebels led only 59 54 at halftime. And then they came out and blew Utah State out. The free throw's out. Rebound Love. To Emerzian. Runs into Jardine. Traveling called on Bryant with 11 seconds to go. What are the odds that you have the same final score two years in a row on the same floor between two teams? Right? I need a multiple choice for that one. All right, here's Ruffner out to Jardine. Seven seconds to go. Jardine in trouble over the right side. Here's a shot by Sager. We're not going to have the same final. Sager made a three-pointer with three seconds to go. And it is all over in Las Vegas. And number one ranked UNLV wins again convincingly. Final score, Running Rebels 124, Utah State 93, and Con Smith comes to midcourt to shake the hands of the Rebel players, and then Jerry Tarkanian will be back for the wrap-up in a moment.